In this video, we'll have a look how to get two, yes, two free I.O. pins on Creality standard 8-bit mainboards to connect things like a BL touch and a filament sensor at the same time. And we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. Our mission is to help 1 million people getting more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe and enable bell notifications so you don't miss anything. So this is the Creality Mainboard 114 and I've also got the new version 115 installed in this Ender 3 here. It's got the silent stepper drivers. I've already made another guide how to install this new mainboard on the Ender 3. The video is linked up here just in case you missed it. These mainboards and all the versions have been used and are still used in most of Creality's low price printers like the Ender 3, the Ender 5, the CR10 and many more models. So unless you buy a new printer model with a 32-bit mainboard or you replace the mainboard with something like an SKR Mini, you have to deal with its limitation that it has basically no connectors for anything like a BL touch or a filament runout sensor by default. But probably you might have already heard that you can connect a BL touch probe or a filament runout sensor to these mainboards using an adapter and that is probably the most simple approach. This is a so-called pin 27 adapter and it's inserted between the display cable and the mainboard and it will give you one but only one GPIO pin that you may use either for a BL touch probe or something else like a filament sensor. The downside is you cannot connect both at the same time. But looking at the video title you already know there is a second pin but where is it? It's not at the display connector unfortunately. If we look at the mainboard in close-up, there is a quite large capacitor soldered somewhere in the middle between this coil and this quartz. And this capacitor, depending on how accurately it was soldered, it's obstructing an unused pin that's pin 29 for later reference. So what we need to do is to solder a connection from this pin and the best will be to use a male to female jumper wire so we have something where we can connect anything we want to for the future. Most probably this pinhole will be filled with soldering tin, so before we can insert anything here I would recommend to remove the tin first using a desoldering sucker. So let's do this. Don't be afraid of soldering, maybe practice these following steps a bit with something like a damaged circuit board or just some PCB prototyping board. Using the hot soldering iron running at about 350 degrees Celsius, I'm heating up the tin in the pins hole from the back of the PCB, so it's fluid and then quickly removing the tin with the desoldering sucker. Sometimes this works on the first try, sometimes it takes a second try. Just make sure you don't heat up the tin for too long because that might damage the PCB board and surrounding electronics. Good, the pin is clean and I can now solder in the cable. It's basically up to you whether you like to solder your cable in from the back or the front of the PCB, but since I'm using a jumper wire, I will push it through from the front side and solder it from the back side. Just be careful that no soldering tin cross connects to the other two pins that are very close to it. So less tin is safer. So soldering job is done, this looks fine. I will clip off the rest of the pin because this side of the mainboard faces the electronics case and you don't want this pin to touch that. Now we have two free GPIO pins on this mainboard, pin 27 and pin 29, really awesome. I will do another video about the BL touch installation on the Ender 3 as well as a video about how to install a filament sensor very soon, so make sure you don't miss that and I've also linked two other interesting videos here in these two cards. Hope to see you soon back on the channel, bye!